Every single minute, over 11,000 batteries are manufactured at energizer factories around the world. That's the equivalent of producing enough energy to power every single emergency flashlight in New York City, or to supply every new TV remote sold in the US each day. In just 60 seconds, Energizer outputs a wave of electricity stored in compact cylinders, tiny powerhouses that keep modern life running. But how do we go from raw metals and chemicals to perfectly sealed power sources ready to fuel flashlights, toys, medical devices, and more? In this episode of Complex Made Simple, we'll step deep into the heart of Energizer's industrial operation. From the sourcing of high-purity zinc and manganese dioxide to robotic assembly lines, precision mixing, real-time quality control, and next-gen sustainability innovations, this is how Energizer powers a planet that never stops moving. Founded in 1896, Energizer has powered homes, industries, and breakthroughs for over 125 years. The company played a major role in pioneering the first dry cell battery, launching the world's first alkaline battery in 1957, and later becoming a household name recognized for reliability, innovation, and that famously unstoppable bunny. Today, Energizer operates state-of-the-art facilities in the US, Europe, and Asia, employing over 7,500 specialists. These factories run 24-7, churning out over 4 billion batteries a year enough to stretch around the Earth more than twice if laid end-to-end. -end. Its history also includes a legacy of powering key technological advancements. Energizer batteries have helped power everything from early transistor radios in the 1950s to critical NASA mission gear. With over a century of experience, the company continues to lead the evolution of portable power. Their commitment to innovation isn't just about performance, it's also about adaptability from enabling remote education in developing regions to delivering power to emergency relief teams in disaster zones, Energizer products are part of the global fabric of daily life. The battery-making process begins long before materials reach the factory. Zinc, manganese dioxide, potassium hydroxide, steel, and graphite must be mined, refined, and purified. Zinc, for example, is sourced from mines in North America and Australia then melted and cast into ingots. Manganese dioxide is mined, cleaned, and milled to a fine powder. Once they arrive at the factory, materials are carefully stored in silos, sealed drums, and stainless steel tanks. Quality control labs test every shipment, checking purity, particle size, and moisture levels. Only materials that meet strict specifications enter production. Each ingredient has a precise specification sheet, Technicians examine everything under microscopes and use chromatography and spectroscopy tools to confirm chemical composition. It's like a science lab on steroids. Before a single battery is assembled, engineers run predictive models to simulate how materials will behave during manufacturing. This data-driven approach prevents costly errors and helps adjust formulas on the fly. In the mixing section, giant computer-controlled vats prepare two pastes. The cathode mix, manganese dioxide plus graphite, and the anidase mix, zinc powder plus potassium hydroxide. Each batch is mixed with surgical precision, down to the gram and second. The result is a smooth, consistent paste, akin to heavy clay. Mixing occurs in sealed, climate-controlled rooms. Even slight changes in temperature or humidity can affect the chemical properties of a battery. Operators in clean suits monitor mixing tanks through glass walls, ensuring uniformity across every ton of material. The pastes are tested for density, pH, and consistency before being pumped through stainless steel pipelines to the assembly lines. This level of control ensures each battery performs consistently, whether it ends up in a toy car or a medical instrument. To streamline operations, Energizer uses automated systems to schedule mixing batches based on real-time demand forecasts. These systems can pivot production across different battery types with minimal downtime. Next, we move to the assembly floor, a gleaming landscape of conveyor belts, robotic arms, and rapid-fire machinery. Here, steel sheets are stamped into cylinders at blinding speed, over 300 per minute. 
These become the iconic casings of AA, AAA, C, and D batteries. The cylinders travel along an automated track to filling stations, where robotic injectors squirt in the anode paste. A thin, non-woven separator is placed inside the casing, followed by the cathode paste. The layers must never touch. Direct contact would cause a short circuit. Automated vision systems use lasers and cameras to inspect every cylinder. Even a slight deviation, less than the width of a human hair, triggers the system to remove and flag the part. Assembly robots communicate with each other across a centralized control system. If one unit detects a slowdown, others adjust their speed to prevent bottlenecks. It's a synchronized ballet of steel and code. With the chemical layers in place, it's time to activate the battery. Ultra-precise nozzles inject a small volume of potassium hydroxide electrolyte into each cell. This liquid enables ions to flow between the anode and cathode during discharge. Immediately afterward, a steel top cap is placed and sealed using high-speed crimping and welding machines. The cap includes a vent mechanism to release pressure if the battery overheats, an essential safety feature. The sealing process must be airtight and tamper-proof. Machines apply a uniform pressure and test for leaks using high-frequency acoustic sensors. Each sealed battery is laser etched with a timestamp and batch code. This allows Energizer to trace any cell back to its exact line, materials, and time of assembly. Every Energizer battery must meet strict voltage, current, and leakage standards. Automated systems test each cell's charge, measure resistance, and scan for microscopic cracks or seal failures. Out of every million batteries, about 4,000 are pulled randomly for destructive testing. These samples are exposed to high heat, vibration, and extreme discharge cycles to simulate real-world abuse. Specialized machines simulate five years of usage in just a few days. These stress tests ensure that batteries maintain power and safety from factory to shelf to end use. Engineers constantly review this data to refine processes, tweak formulations, and improve shelf life, which today can exceed 10 years for some alkaline types. The data collected is fed into machine learning models to identify patterns and anomalies further improving predictive maintenance and product reliability. Approved batteries move to the final stretch, packaging. Here, robotic arms sort them into familiar energizer packs, two packs, four packs, bulk boxes, and seal them with printed cardboard or heat molded plastic. Barcodes, expiry dates, and QR codes are stamped. Units are boxed by the pallet and prepared for distribution. In one hour, a single packaging line can produce enough battery packs to supply every store in a major city. Before pallets leave, tracking numbers are scanned into a global logistics system. These allow Energizer to track shipments from the factory to regional distribution centers and finally to retail shelves. Warehouses are climate controlled and equipped with automated storage retrieval systems, minimizing human handling and reducing the risk of damage. Battery manufacturing uses energy chemicals, and metals. But Energizer is pushing toward a cleaner future. Their factories now recycle over 90% of steel scrap from casing production. Zinc and manganese residue is filtered and reused. Electrolyte stations feature closed-loop systems that capture vapors and reduce waste. Several Energizer facilities now operate partially on solar and wind energy, reducing CO2 emissions by thousands of tons annually. They also partner with battery recycling programs to recover metals from used batteries. One ton of recycled batteries can reclaim over 300 pounds of zinc, manganese, and steel. And it's not just about recycling. New R&D efforts are focused on reducing reliance on critical minerals, using more earth-abundant alternatives, and developing biodegradable packaging. Energizer is also piloting a take-back program in partnership with retailers, offering incentives for customers who return used batteries for recycling. The company has also begun investing in carbon offset projects and water conservation initiatives in the communities surrounding its production sites. Energizer is now developing smart batteries that communicate wirelessly with devices. These next-gen cells can report remaining charge, detect overheating, and optimize power output based on usage. 
Other R&D areas include solid-state batteries with higher energy density and eco-friendly chemistries using organic materials. These advances promise safer, longer-lasting, and greener batteries for future generations. Artificial intelligence is also being tested to optimize production scheduling and detect anomalies during manufacturing, enhancing efficiency and reducing waste. By 2030, it's projected that global demand for AA-sized batteries alone will reach over 12 billion units per year. Energizer is scaling up production accordingly, integrating robotics and machine learning across every phase of its manufacturing ecosystem. They are also investing in digital twins, virtual replicas of their production lines, to simulate process changes before deploying them in real life. Longer term, Energizer is exploring modular battery architecture, allowing packs to be reused or upgraded without full replacement, reducing waste and enhancing circularity. Every battery that rolls off an Energizer line represents a symphony of chemistry, engineering, and innovation. From mining minerals to robotic packaging lines, it's a journey that powers lives in subtle but essential ways. So the next time you slide open a TV remote or flip on a flashlight during a storm, remember, that humble battery was born in a place of precision, speed, and purpose. Thank you for joining us inside the Energizer factory. If there's another industrial process or product you'd love us to explore, drop it in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the machines that power our world.